and welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix a missing login screen on windows 11 or windows 10. so many times it happens that when you try to restart your computer it is stuck on a screen where you don't see the login option so that you can enter into your computer so that is really very annoying so let's start the troubleshooting steps and if this video help you guys do not forget to like and subscribe so the first thing that I would recommend you that you can bring the login screen option by pressing the control alt delete key from your keyboard. All right. So what you have to do, look for the control alt delete key on your keyboard, press them all together. And once you press it, you will see that the login screen is back. Okay. And now I can log into my computer. But in case if this doesn't work next, what you will have to do. From your keyboard, you need to press and hold the shift key and while holding the shift key, you need to press and click on this power icon that is on the right hand corner. So while holding the shift key, click on the power icon and then click on restart and make sure that you do not leave the shift key until you get a next screen of the windows login. So click on restart, keep holding again, click on restart anyway, and it still keep holding the shift key. And once you get this message, please wait or a black screen comes up, then you have to leave the shift key as well. And then you will be getting this kind of a screen with the windows logo and it says, please wait. So just wait on this screen until you get another option of blue screen that give you multiple options. All right. So now you can see all kind of these options and here you have to look for troubleshoot and click on it. Then you have to click on advanced options and then click on command prompt. Now once you come to the command prompt here, you have to type a command that is NET space user space administrator space forward slash active colon yes. This command you will be also getting in the description. You can copy and paste or you can manually uh, type over here. Once done, you have to hit the enter key and it will say the command completed successfully. The next command will be DISM space forward slash online with O capital, then give a space forward slash clean up with C capital dash image with I capital space forward slash restore with R capital health without any space and H in capital and then you have to hit the enter key again. Now this will be running a scan. So you just have to wait until the command has been completed. And then finally you have to type another command that will be SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter again. And this will again start the scanning for any kind of integrity violation on your computer. So you have to wait until this command is 100% completed. Once it's been completed, it says uh, the system file repair changes will take effect and after the next reboot and you can even see that it says Windows resource protection found correct file and successfully repaired them. There was some problem. So it has been repaired now. Now you can close the command prompt and click on continue and see if the problem has been fixed and you can now see the login screen. And if not, then again, you have to come to the same screen by following the same steps. Then again, click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and then click on startup settings and then click on restart and the computer will now be restarting with and coming up with new options. Now here we have to start the computer in the safe mode. So just choose the option enable safe mode. And for that, you need to press the F4 key from your keyboard. So press F4 that is on the top of your keyboard and the system will now be starting in the safe mode. And now you can see that it directly gave me the pin to type. So the login screen is up and now you can quickly log into your screen, but the screen is in the safe mode and you can see that the icons are bigger and you can see safe mode at the right and top. Now here we have to perform some troubleshooting steps. So first you have to disable all the startup application. So right click on your windows icon, then click on task manager. Now from the top menu, you have to click on startup or from the left menu option, you can go and look for startup applications. 
And now here you have to disable any kind of third party application like Cortana, Microsoft Team, whichever you get. You just need to disable them like Microsoft Edge. I will also disable it. And once you are done, you can close it. Next, you have to click on the search box, type here control and then open the control panel. Now here you have to look for power options, click on power options. Then click on choose what the power button does. Click on it and now here in the shutdown setting you will be getting an option of fast startup. I'm not getting that option because I'm using a virtual machine. Probably that is the reason but you will be getting the fast startup option. You need to disable it. So in order to disable it first you need to click on change setting that are currently unavailable and this option will be highlighted and then you need to uncheck the option of fast startup and then click on save changes. So once done close it. So now after completing all these steps, you have to again restart your computer and check back if the problem has been fixed. So let me quickly restart it. Alright, so after login, I can see the login screen now to enter the pin or password option. So hopefully guys, this will work for you as well. And please do not forget to like and subscribe. And still, if you have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.